after the crash. Low voltage function. High voltage off. Hazard lights on. The call worked fine, but the operator couldn't hear. Doors unlocked. Door handles popped out. Rescue and extrication rating acceptable. Its front crumple zone worked badly. Subjecting the A pillar to huge impact, so it ripped very early. The B and C pillar also suffered huge impact. All three pillars rip. So its structure rating poor. The collapsed structure caused severe injury to the passenger. Poor. It wouldn't make it. Despite ample space, the driver still suffered grave neck injuries. That's because the restraint system activated late. Poor. Due to the undesirable protection, its overall rating, poor. 40 miles per hour 40% frontal offset crash against a deformable barrier. Simulates a crash against other vehicles. This is the IIHS moderate overlap frontal crash evaluation, a standard in NCAP assessments. The vehicle is set to the maximum load. Front, one dummy, second row, two dummies. If there is third row, two dummies. Low voltage off. No hazard lights. Doors failed to unlock. Handles didn't pop out. But a call activated swiftly. Before the test, the battery has been repeatedly confirmed. The low voltage system worked fine. In this test, low voltage off upon the crash. Doors failed to unlock, no hazard lights. Rescue and extrication rating, poor. Its structure manifested great strength. The crumple zone functioned well. So structure rating, great. Airbags activated as expected. Pre-tensioning safety belts kept all three dummies alive. The driver had serious chest and calf injury. Acceptable. But during the airbag deployment, flames arose. So, the front restraint system poor. The rear left dummy suffered severe chest and calf injuries. Moderate. The rear right dummy also had chest and calf injury. Acceptable. The restraint system of the second row, acceptable. In this test, its overall rating, acceptable. 50 miles per hour, 70% rear end crash by a one point for tons test vehicle. Simulates a secondary high-speed rear ending. The dummy layout and weight distribution remained unchanged. According to the US federal regulations 301 and 305, major focuses are fuel and battery leakage, thermal runaway, and structural integrity. In this rear-end crash, the rear die-cast aluminum fragmented, the battery integrity rating, great. Door rings remain intact, minor deformation on the C-pillar. 
So it's structure rating, great. It's overall rear end crash rating, great.